Hi everybody, hi every spirit, welcome very much to Azos Two Empires. Today we have the first match out of a best of three between Divine DFP in blue playing as the French and his opponent playing as the Ottomans. It is GG S A S or SAS just to say it quicker. Oh my bad guys. Got some hair stuck. Thank you very much for watching. Your support is greatly appreciated. I wish you are enjoying. I hope you are enjoying the golden, not the golden league, the the elite classic, both the mini event and the silver league, because this is a best of three out of the round thirteen, if I'm not mistaken, of the group stage of the silver league of the elite classic, brought to you by. No, it's from round four. It's from. Round 14 and is brought to you by AGC TV. Catch them live on Twitch Saturdays and Sundays and catch them live on Twitch using the links down below. And this is the French versus Ottomans. Usually, Ottomans have the advantage because they're gonna have early spears and not just early. As the game goes on, they're gonna have a lot of spears, a lot of Sipahi, a lot of archers, and usually it's enough to counter the French. But recently, especially on the main event, I've seen Ottoman first rarely being peak. And then when they are peak, just like the French, they go for this build, early deer, with uh, several techniques and early wheelbarrow. Okay, that's a new one. And then they just have so much knights that the spears cannot defend on the Ottoman side. But let's see. If you enjoy the match, leave a like and subscribe because there is more content to come. And there's already a lot of content coming in. And subscribe to my Twitch channel as well. Catch me live play and cast. Age of Empires 4, and sometimes some variety gaming. So, first, spears, not from the military school, from the barracks, so you, you can produce them faster, came in and perturbed Divine's plan. Divine was chilling on the deer, now he's forced to go away from the deer, back to the ship, and he did went for several techniques, which does not apply to the ship. So, wasted, right? Wasted money. Wasted resources there. Okay, PC firing on the scout. Divine doesn't want to, lo to lose extra uh, gathering time there, so he doesn't pull anybody into the TC. I mean, that was a great opening from Sass, in my opinion. And remember, this is the new patch, so the Sipahi from Ottomans will have more range. They'll be attacking earlier, resulting in more damage. Oh, be careful. Spears on the gold builds. They're both safe. More. There's a lot of spears already. Four spears from Sass. And he's almost edging up. He just needs a bit more gold. Divine needs more food. Alright. Both players now going to the Castle Age, classic Twin Minaret Madrese for the Ottomans, spawns berries that collect faster and they respawn. And the School of Cavalry for the French acts as a stable and makes all other stables, they could be here, it doesn't matter, all the other stables produce 20% faster. And two units on the stone there to produce those military schools, which produce units for free for the Ottomans, but it takes some time. To produce said units. Alright. Ja Sass reaches a feudal age. Immediate wheelbarrow. That's classic. Uh, yeah, don't go there, Will. That's dangerous. So, Divine with no gold. Not making a horseman. I mean, Sass has pretty much denied all the Divine's game plan. And keep in mind, Divine is doing really well on the tournament. He's like in second place or something. Divine is in third place with 10 wins in series, not in matches. 10 wins, 4 losses, and in matches, 19 won matches, 10 lost matches. So, Divine, one of the best. Sass almost made it out to the uh, um, playoff. He got 10th. I think he already played. Yeah, he already played all the matches. So, he's not making it through. But he made 10th, middle of the table. Not a bad player, not a bad player indeed, but Divine, the best player out of the Silver League, or one of the best players out of the Silver League, because ahead of him is 3D Anatend and Kill Jardy. 
Those are the top two at the moment. And we have a lot of people on stone. So that will be a second DC for the French. Yeah, and the results. Oh, my bad, guys. The results or the score for Sassy. Seven victories in series and eight defeats. And in games, he won 17 games and lost 21 games. Alright, what's going on here? Oh, it's a second TC. On the gold, protecting the gold. Smart, smart. I will do the same there. Smart decision. Um, Ottomans, they stop the aggression. Now chilling with the method. Going for more spears. And going for those Sipahi. And let, let's see the range of those Sipahi now. Now they have 0 0.25 tiles of range. Was it? Wait. That, that's not much. Like, the spears have 1.25. Like, what? Maybe uh, the text was not updated? Or maybe only when you start attacking? Because they received, like, plus 100% range or something, no? This, this looks tough for Divine. He had a plan... And it was denied immediately by his opponent. But now the spears will not be a problem. There is archers for the vine. Ready to defend. Both players now chilling a little bit. Range defense for Sass. That's great because you know your enemy will make archers to counter your spears. Double broad axe, chivalry, and specialized peak from the vine. So all economic bloomery is automatic with the blacksmith and the textiles. Wanting to protect those wills. All right, that's interesting for the vine. But look, the military lead is starting to grow. That's Ottoman playstyle. Twenty-one military units compared with the eight from the vine. So not looking easy. For Sat, for Divine over here, is already over produced on the military side. Now he's getting 10 wheels ahead. So if he survives, which is a, a big if, he'll be ahead and probably will take the game home. But if Sass just continues on this path and always has more military than Divine, he'll be the one taking this game home. Pretty sure about that. And Ottomans, there you go. 28 units at 10 minutes, that's great. It's like 2 units per minute. Actually, it's closer to 3 units per minute. Oh, Vils? Under threat here. They do have textiles, you can see that, you can feel that. They take way longer to die. Divine trying to build a defensive force. Range damage coming in. For those archers, trying to do as most damage to the spear as possible. Sipahi going around, looking for some raids. Sass. Where are you going, Sass? Ah, oh, he's looking for this. Maybe he scouted that out? Where is his scout? He has one. He's making two scouts. Another... Okay, that's good, actually. Oh, big walls coming in from the French. It's not usually... Normally, the French... The enemy of the French is the one walling. Oh, but it's too, it's a lot of units, bro. Four Sass over here. Fourteen archers will not be enough. There's a lot of Sipahi. Good clash, good fight over here. Sass pushing Divine into his base. Nice, Divine is able to defend for the moment. 
but says already 40 military units. Damn. Let's change for income per minute. Oh, Vils on divine side compromised. Only one lost. And it's a stone outpost to take some time to go down. The knight's trying to engage, but it's difficult. It's too many units over there. Outpost is going down, slowly but surely. Knight's trying to engage. It's only three spears. Uh, I think we can. Oh, being sandwiched over here. This does not look good for Divine. Sans playing this one really well with the Ottomans. Divine will lose 5 builds there. He's ahead by 10. Oh! Outpost here, try to be denied. But Divine saves the outpost and now goes for the berries. Double outpost over there. Yeah, 5 builds going down there. That would be a lot. A big loss, big loss. Good engagement here though from Divine, killing the reinforcements. Sass was. Over 40 units, now on 37, still more, way more than Divine. Divine is holding on for the moment, good defense. Not easy here for Divine. All the military upgrades for both of our players. And basically all the upgrades. Divine does not have the food upgrade, Sass does not have the mining upgrade. But these guys are all uh, gadget up with all the technology. Let's go. 52 units against 32. Divine lost 8 vils. He's only 1 vil ahead now. He lost 9 vils. Sass has way more food per minute though. Yeah, and, and Sass did the good work. He was always... He was on the deer. He was on these berries. Denying the food. And he's, he has units here. So Divine has no access to food. He has to transit into farms, which is not good because you want to build archers in this situation. But I think it's the next step. We have literally no food. He's going for a lot of wood. But he has no food, bro. Literally, look for food in the bank. And being raided on the wood line as well. Very well played from Sass over here. Really well played. Defense from Divine here, though. He's able to hold on for a little bit, but there is no, not enough archers here. And the moment the archers go down, I think it's the moment that Divine loses. Because he can't counter the spears there. He's, he's doing great macro with those archers. By the way, guys, we cannot zoom in or zoom out. So, it, this is it. Good fight. Bro, Divine defended really well with the knights. Right? But I think that's not enough. Back, back to the deer, back to being raided. Oh, wow. Nice. Good defense over there. Nice. Well played, Divine. He's now 10 wheels behind. He's the one on the second TC. Our Ottoman player is not on the second TC, right? Sheesh. Bro, it doesn't stop. The flood does not stop. Let it, let it, let it rain, say Sass. 30 military uh, units ahead, bro. That's too much. Divine getting a lot of stone. Maybe he wants to uh, upgrade those outposts. But GG gets called. Very dominant performance from Sass. Great win. If you enjoy, leave a like. 
Thank you for watching and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. As a Cloud Surfer, surfing out.